Hello and welcome to your preview of Training to Go modules presented by Technical Sales and Consulting. This preview will provide a review of Pringle bolted pressure switches. At the end of the preview, we will provide how to access more information about our training products. Thanks for visiting and we hope you enjoyed the preview. For more information, visit our website trainingtogo.net. Engineers sometimes prefer to use a switch as a main disconnect for low-voltage distribution switchboards. The Pringle bolted pressure switch is often the go-to option. It is time to take a closer look at this product. First, it might be good to go over a little history. Pringle Electric made these switches in Fort Washington, PA, and later in Montgomeryville, PA, both outside Philadelphia for many years. In October of 2007, Eaton purchased the company and currently manufactures the product. Formerly, this product was used by Eaton in their switchboards. They were also used by Square D in their product line under the name of Lockbolt. There are still many of the original Pringle and Square D versions in operation today. There are three models available. The QA standing for Quick Action Manually Operated Switch. The CBC acronym stands for Charge Before Close which operates via a stored energy mechanism. The CBC is the most popular model for use in distribution switchboards because of its stored energy operating mechanism. There is also a model FP standing for Fully Protected that includes ground fault protection. These switches can be built as fused or non-fused and are available in NEMA 3R enclosures. Coming up we will spend more time on each model. Let's examine the Pringle lineup of switches more closely. First the QA or Quick Action Manually Operated Switch. This switch is available in current ratings of 800, 1200, 2000, 2500, 3000 and 4000 amps. All Pringle switches employ a unique design mechanism seen here. The spring in the mechanism is created by a series of concave convex washers. The paired washer spring design provides a higher force slash distance ratio, making it easier to operate the mechanism. Should any pair of washers become inoperable for any reason, the entire spring assembly will still be operable by means of the remaining pairs. This is unlike what would happen if a coil spring were to fracture or fatigue. The operating mechanism closes the switch blades quickly and actuates a bolting mechanism that applies pressure to both the hinge and the jaw contacts, providing current conducting efficiency equivalent to that of a bolted bus bar. The QA has some options available. Auxiliary switches can be added for remote indication of the switch status. One normally open and one normally closed, or two normally open and two normally closed, arrangements can be furnished. If a fuse design is required, blown fuse indicators can be included. Key interlock provisions can also be configured. The handle is elongated to provide sufficient leverage for ease of operation. The technician can easily grasp the handle and open and close the switch. Coming up we will show the switch in action, where you will get an idea of how the mechanism operates. As promised here is the video of a manual operation of a Pringle switch. Note that the proper PPE is required and the ease of the technician removing the handle mechanism to operate the switch. Now we will turn our attention toward the Pringle CBC switch. As previously mentioned, the letters CBC designate charge before closing. This means that the switch requires the opening spring to be charged, meaning the handle must be rotated counterclockwise before the switch can be closed, ensuring a safe and controlled operation. More on this later. The CBC is available in current ratings of 800, 1200, 2000, 2500, 3000 and 4000 continuous amps. The contacts are 100% rated. Unlike the QA, the CBC is available as a fusible design only. Because of the stored energy operating mechanism, it is supplied with an electrical slash shunt trip. Located behind the operating mechanism, because of this trip function critical accessories may be added such as a ground fault relay, phase failure relay, and undervoltage relay. Previously discussed accessories for the QA such as auxiliary contacts, Blown fuse indicators and key interlock provisions are also available. 
The trim plate provides useful information and facilitates operation. There is a window that provides the status of the switch contacts. There is also a button that allows the operator to press to release the spring and open the switch. The trim plate also provides a name plate with the ratings and part number. Also included are the two step instructions to charge, open and close the switch. Now back to the operating mechanism. As mentioned previously, the operator must charge the switch. In order to do so, the operating handle is rotated counterclockwise, which compresses the opening spring. This charging process ensures that the switch is in a safe, charged state before it can be closed, preventing accidental or premature closing. Once the switch is closed, it can be tripped open manually by a mechanical push button or electrically by sending a signal to a solenoid. The switch features a quick-acting stored energy mechanism, where the spring is released near the end of the stroke to provide quick, positive switching action, regardless of the handle's operating speed. The instructions are clearly displayed on the trim plate. The CBC also provides the bolted pressure contact design, which provides a high current carrying and robust connection. Conducts high current with greater efficiency than knife spring or butt contact devices. The operating mechanism closes the switch blades quickly and actuates a bolting mechanism that applies pressure to both the hinge and the jaw contacts, providing current conducting efficiency equivalent to that of a bolted bus bar. An electrically operated version of the CBC is available. It includes an operator with a linear motor that electrically charges the stored energy mechanism and closes the switch. These are designated EOCBC. Next up is a short video demonstrating the operation of a Pringle CBC switch. On the previous slide, we discussed the operation of the CBC operating mechanism. It may have seemed like a complicated process. It is actually pretty simple as you will see in this video. Pringle FP switch combines all the features of the CBC switch with integrated zero-sequence sensor and four-wire ground fault protection. A zero-sequence ground fault occurs when a fault in an electrical system involves a return path through ground, resulting in a non-zero sum of the three-phase currents detected by the ground sensor. We discuss the different types of ground faults extensively in our molded case circuit breaker training. The FP is available in current ratings of 800, 1200, 2000, 2500, 3000, and 4000 amps. 5000 and 6000 amp ratings are available but are not UL listed. The same accessory options are available with the FP as with the CBC. The FP model conforms with NEC requirements for ground fault on incoming service. Here are some helpful tips to keep the Pringle switch in proper operating condition. It should be noted that any of these actions only be performed by a qualified technician. Inspect the switch once each year or after any severe overcurrent event. Next check that the exposed switch contacts, jaw, and the upper part of blades are free from dirt. If they have accumulated dirt, clean with CRC 226 or equal before lubricating. Apply a thin coating of Rio Lube 363, available from William F. Nye Inc., New Bedford, Massachusetts. Operate the switch in a test fashion several times to work the lubricant between the contacts. Apply CRC3-36 or equivalent to pivot points and bearings of dead front mechanism. Replace any barriers and parts which have been removed for maintenance. Operate the switch in a test fashion several times and leave open. Proceed with energizing sequence per practices and guidelines, as noted in NFPA 70E and OSHA. Here are some additional tips. If the button is not operating the switch, check to see if it is hitting the front cover or check the linkages. If the switch does not close, look to see if the arc tips are hitting the bus bar or for a misalignment on the switch poles from the blades to the jaw tongues. The arcing tips and contact block are replaceable and can be ordered from Eden. If the switch appears to be running hot, check to see if the switch is fully closed and that the bus bar and all hardware are tight. 
It is important to stress again that all maintenance and service on the switch must be carried out by a qualified technician familiar with low voltage equipment. Hi, we hope you enjoy the sample video of our online e-learning module. This clip is from one of our many available modules. We are always working on new modules, but here is the current list of developed lessons. Did you know that 15 of our courses carry 21 NEDA CTD credit and we have courses suitable for Pennsylvania and Delaware CEU credit? New modules are being constantly added, so check back with us on our website trainingtogo.net. Let our Training to Go programs train your people while you run your business.